Hey folks, all right, so I just wanted to give you a quick walkthrough on this whole new front desk thing that we're doing. Uh, so from our homepage, you can access it by going to the sign in tab, seeing there's a little link here, click here to access online reservation, it takes you to this page, you probably want to bookmark this page, it makes it a lot easier to get to it later on, but you can also just go to this website, crossfit818.frontdeskhq.com. It'll take you to basically the uh, the same place, and from there you can just click the sign in button in the corner, and there's your sign in page. So I'm gonna quickly sign in using my sweet new Johnny Test profile. So here's my dashboard. Dashboard gives me a ton of info about kind of what my account is doing. Uh, tells me what my membership is, tells me uh, what my upcoming schedule is, gives me a chance to buy some stuff, that sort of thing. Um, you'll see there's like a notifications tab on the side. That notifications will give me a bunch of information uh, about sort of what's going on with me as well. Uh, under that notifications, there's the settings button. We'll come back to this, but basically the settings will tell you, uh, give you a chance to kind of customize which notifications are sent out, um, what you're notified for, how you're notified. It can text you, it can email you. It might just show you in front desk whatever you're looking for. Um, but you know we can come back here. Um, you know you have a bunch of different types of options there. Uh, but let's take a look at the dashboard. So let's say I want to actually use my plan and schedule myself a class. So I'm going to click the schedule button up here and it's going to bring up the classes schedule. So as is, default it's laid out like so. So you'll notice that the days of the week are on the left, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And at the top you'll see that it has 5 a.m., 6 a.m., 7 a.m. So the time of the day runs uh, horizontally. It runs on the columns. Uh, as you scroll over, you'll be able to see more classes during the day, like there's yoga at 1145 on Sundays. Keep scrolling, it takes you all the way to the afternoon and the evening classes. Uh, generally speaking, that's where you're going to be looking at it, but you can take a look at the list format. It'll give you all the classes on that day. You can go back one day, you can press the calendar button and pick whatever day you want to go to. Let's say I want to go to March 6th and reserve a space here for some reason. Um, but generally speaking, we'll probably work on, you know, the day of or, you know, the week or the month or something. So go back to the week page. I can also adjust this to be vertical. So I click that little change button in the corner. And now the days of the week are at the top, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Ignore that email. <laughs> and the uh, the time of the day is uh, is running north to south. So earliest is at the top. And latest at the bottom. Let's say I want to sign in for Friday's 9.30 a.m. class. So I'm going to go to Friday's 9.30 a.m. class. I'm going to click it. This little pop-up shows up. Pop-up gives us a bunch of useful information. So it tells me, you know, uh, how much it costs. It tells me how many spaces are left in that class. It tells me when it is, what class it is specifically, all levels, who's teaching it. I'm going to click the enroll button. It takes me to the confirmation page. Confirmation again gives me all that same information, but it also tells me something really important. It tells me where that class reservation is coming from. So it's going to take it from my my two classes per week for six months plan. And uh, in the parentheses, it has a little two for two. That means that's how many I have left. I'm going to click that confirm button. It takes me to my schedule. The schedule shows me a bunch of stuff. Right. Go back to my dashboard. I can see the schedule sitting there. Schedule shows me what I've registered for. I can go to notifications. Shows me. Um, what I'm registered for there as well. Uh, what I just did is what that shows me. But if I go back to my schedule, you'll see it shows also where like my payments are going to come out as well as what my classes are. So let's say I want to actually cancel this. I'm not going to make it. So I'm going to click that, click cancel, and click OK. So now the class is gone. I want to go back to the schedule. Let's say instead of going to the 930 on Friday, I actually want to go to the 930 on Saturday. So I'm going to click that glass. Hit enroll. Again, it'll give me that confirmation page. Shows that Jeff and Tyler are coaching. Shows when it is. Confirm it. 
to take me back to my schedule. So now that schedule has reflected that update. The notifications will also tell me I signed in for class, then I removed myself from that class, and then I signed in for another class. Now my settings can let me adjust this. I can change it so that it doesn't show me when I am removed from a class, or um, you know, it might show me uh, when a class changes for some reason. You know, maybe something like uh, one of us sends you a note. Um, or changes something uh, in your profile, you might want to get a notification for that sort of thing. Um, but you know, generally speaking, the, the notifications are just as is pretty default um, as to where you're at. Now, looking at sort of what the general dashboard can do, we're looking at, uh, right now we're looking at what our passes are, we can look at our attendance, our past history on attendance. Uh, before I showed you, there was the payment options. And it really just kind of gives you a lot of power here as to what to do. Uh, it's really important that you guys use it, and I think it's really strong. So uh, I hope that pretty much wraps up what we're going over, just kind of looking at the uh, dashboard, how to sign in, and how the scheduling works. If you guys have any questions, just email or call us and let us know. Later.